Shalom, shalom. All honor, all glory goes to the Most High Yah, King of heaven and earth. Thank you everyone for joining our Torah study, our praise and worship session. We will be giving honor and praise to the Most High Yah in the forms of our worship. I'll be bringing in a couple of our sisters. Kaveri Mukama. Unmute your mic. My mic. Unmute my go. mic. Shalom. Shalom. Are we on? Yes, we are. <laughs> I would love, love, love. <clears throat> After the prayer. Okay, give me one second. Uh, Let me add a couple more sisters. Okay. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom Makota. Shalom. Okay. How are you? Anitoba, how are you? How are you all? Anitoba, so da. <laughs> so, so da. Okay, so da. That's good. Sister Shakira, can you hear us? Yes, yeah, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. How are you? Good. How's everyone? Everyone's doing well. Everyone is doing well. We're waiting for a couple more sisters to join us, but we're going to get started. Can I face the east, please? our great king. Y'all, we ask permission to approach your holy throne as we give honor and praise to your high and holy name. Y'all, we call upon you for you are God and God alone. Besides thee, there is no else. Y'all, we ask you today, y'all, to be with those who are here as we give honor and praise to your high and holy name in the form of worship that we have on this time. Y'all, we ask you to look upon the fatherless and the motherless, the widow, the orphan, those who are sick and those who are mourning. Y'all, yeah, thank you, Jehovah, for my life, the life of my children, my each. I ask you to continue to guide you and protect us. I ask you to guide you and protect all members of Shomri Hagri and Bay Israel. Y'all, yeah, thank you, y'all, for the blessings you put upon your people in this time. Y'all, yeah, ask you to continue to send your angels upon us to guide the way, protect us from all harm, seen and unseen on this time. Y'all, yeah, we thank you, Jehovah, for the abundance of blessings you put upon your people. Y'all, yeah, we ask you to continue to be our guide to be our shelter, to um, be our protection, okay. to be our doctor, our lawyer, our deliverer, our savior, and our provider on the earth. Yeah, we ask you, Yahweh, to allow us to have a good spirit as we honor you this day as we bring in the Shabbat day on this time. Yeah, we ask you, Yahweh, to look upon the children on this time, to be with their little hearts, Yahweh, and protect their minds from the evil that's suppressing the world today on this time. Y'all, we call upon you for you are God alone, O Most High. We ask you to increase our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your Torah and how to obtain your Holy Spirit, O Most High. Y'all, we thank you, y'all, for the things you have given us throughout the week. We thank you, y'all, for the protection you have placed upon our families, O Most High. Y'all, we ask you to continue to with us, walk with us, God, share, and protect us, O Most High. We thank you, y'all, for all things and everything that we have. Continue, O Most High. 
We thank you all for your Holy Spirit. We thank you all for the confidence that you have given us. You and you alone on this time. Yeah, we thank you all for your Torah, your holy days, and your feast days on this time. Yeah, we thank you all for all things and everything. Continue to give us on this time as we give honor and praise to your high and holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. <clears throat> shalom, 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 everyone. How are you doing? Doing great. So, today, tonight, we're going to be giving praise to the most high God with our forms of worship. We have singing. We have prayers, we have testimony, we have scriptures. We have a couple things we're going to do today. We got poetry coming from the very comma and Ima Havare when she comes on. So we're going to get started with our poetry from our elder. Hallelujah. 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 One moment. Told our bar, everyone. Oh, praise and blessings to the Most High. It is just so wonderful to see everyone here. Glad to know I'm not here alone, and I am happy for the gathering of us to give praise to the mm. Almighty Father. I think that is just so wonderful. So what I did was I had written, uh, Most High had blessed me to write something uh, some years ago. And uh, I made a little change to it because it, 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 it fit this occasion just so perfectly. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you. And it is regarding us this evening, this Shabbat evening, all praise and glory to the Most High God for life Amen. on this Shabbat evening hey. and for uh, supplying all needs, for supplying this um, platform for us to exalt his holy and divine name. And, Amen. Um, and I want to thank Moreyosa. Oh, I hope he's fine. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Moray Yiptak and uh, Akop Yakia for, for this wonderful, for this wonderful Amen. event. So the name of this poem is, and I won't see you because I'll be looking at the poem, so I won't see you, okay? But uh, I'll know you there. The name of it's called Shomre Torah Praise Line tonight, okay? Oh, hi. oh hey. praise to you, blessed King. Told our Rabba for blessing your daughters with this time to exhort you on the Shomre Habrit Torah Praise Line. It's uplifting Amen. to glorify you as a collective Father, most holy divine. It's wonderful having the capabilities to read exaltations to you by your beloved King Dawid. Because in the early stage of Israel's slavery, punishment was inflicted on those who were merely intrigued and death was implemented if they had the abilities to read. For in those days in USA, freedom of education for the Israelites weren't allowed. Just 40 years ago, this type of modern technology wasn't revealed to the public. It was kept secret in the clouds. But today, your children are congregating on various internet virtual lines, praising you, Father. Who would have ever believed all things are, are possible as long as we have Yahweh as our lead. There will be songs of joy and psalms of gratitude, psalms of healing, and poems from the heart that reaches one's core. There are psalms of mental and spiritual guidance, psalms of perseverance, psalms of praises and prayers from those who implore. There will be prayers for the sick prayers for the needy, prayers for the unstable, and prayers for the greedy. There are also the exceptional unselfish prayers 
the prayers that opens our hearts and reaches the soul of our being as it shaves off negative layers. The prayers that makes us want to aid our sisters and brothers, the less fortunate and our neighbors. Prayers that ignites the need to obey because we're Abraham's seed, implementing love as a conveyor. There will be stories of Yah's protection, stories of Yah's greatness and perfection. Prayers thanking Yah for guiding us in the proper direction. Toda Rabbah Almighty for this day, sharing your magnificence this evening on Torah Praise Line. Told off for uniting me with the sisters to praise and worship you from our hearts, souls, and minds. And here's our unification to heal so we can obey your Torah, praise you, and once again receive your favor. Hopefully, you will return us to our inherited positions to exalt you to the world as the one and only Savior. Blessed be you, Yahweh. Please make it thy will to hear your daughters magnify your greatness this Shabbat Eve on the Shombre Abrit Torah praise line and told off for allowing us to bask in the privilege of honoring you by keeping the Shabbat for our spiritual connective signs. Daughters, Israel, Let's glorify our creator. Hallelujah. Here we Hallelujah. go. Hallelujah. 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 Beautiful poem has always been there <laughs> So I'm going to pose this question to everybody. Why do we appreciate praise and worship sessions? Why is it important for us to have different forms of praise and worship? If I may answer, um, I was thinking today um, while I was at work um, that it's it's more than just words and just sounds that you hear it the words and all of the music and the praise and worship that enters, you know, your ears, it actually does have an effect on your brain. Um, and as a spiritual people, um, and everyone has spirits, if you don't um, uplift yourself, you know, and um, put something higher above you, which is the most high, then <clears throat> you will be on a low vibration. So I believe that praise and worship to the creator, something higher than yourself, keeps you um, stable as a person, as a human being. Um, and it takes all the pressure of the world off of you when you give praise and honor to the power of heaven and earth. No doubt for that. Shakira? Um, just the update to your question, you, you saying why you're asking is why praise and worship important? Is that what you're asking? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, praise and worship is definitely, definitely important. One, um, it uplifts your spirits. You, um, giving glory and honor to the most high, no matter what circumstance you're in, whether good or bad. Um, you know, especially like right now as we're doing it together. You know, when we start praying together, you also get to see like everyone else's situation might be the, almost the same situation as yours. So it gives you some type of encouragement, like, okay, this is just going through something I'm going through. Let's pray it out together. You know, let's sing songs to the Creator because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about giving glory and honor to the Most High. So it's very important because one, you're definitely giving the Creator His praises and you're doing it with the community or even by yourself. It uplifts your spirit. Just to know the Most High is listening to you, and He answers our prayers. So, so that yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Did anybody else want to add? Yes, yes. Because expression is done in so many different ways through songs, 
songs, you know, poetry. Uh, there's so many different ways of expression. And as as the sister, um, as the sister said, um, our spirits are connected to it. Okay, and um, the way our spirits connect to the Most High is on an individual level, and our expression is connected to it. And uh, that individualism, that spiritual individualism is what makes the difference. And I don't know if that answered your question, but for me, you know, I can hardly hear hey. as well. So I just want to let you guys know, all right? But uh, that's, that's what I got from what I did here. Hey. To me, praise and worship is important because this is something that us to do the most high honor and glory throughout Psalms. Our father, foremothers did it. That was their way to show the most high how they appreciate him by singing songs, by doing testimony, by praying, by doing certain yes. acts to yes. glorify the name of the most high. And even mm -hmm. till today, just singing a tune, you may hear a tune that may uplift your spirits, like she just said earlier, um, it's an emotional connection with the creator. And yeah. although it may uplift your spirit, it may uplift somebody else's too, if they hear you singing it. Hearing a certain prayer, um, somebody is going through something that week and your prayer is a testimony to what they're going through. They can relate to your prayer. So it's actually answering something they've been inquiring about. And the most high sends people that way. He sends you as messenger through your prayers. So praise and worship is very important because we need that upliftment. We need to be motivated. We need to show the most high that this is how we appreciate you. Same way our forefathers did. Very well put. Loved all of it. You covered the whole thing. I love it. Love it. Express greatly. I love that. Shalom, Zamaret. Yeah. I don't think she heard me. You, you hear us? Zamaret, yeah. Zamaret, yeah. Think she's going in and out. Shalom. Can you hear me? Shalom. Now. Shalom. How are you? Great. Great. Can you hear us? The question about yes, praise. Can. It's, it's praise and worship. Why should we? Why is it important that we do it in basically different ways? I guess a poem or a song or whether we're a uh, dance. Um, it's all praise to the most high in all different ways. We're using every instrument of our body. The most high has given us to give praise back to him. And I think it's a beautiful thing when that happens. And like I say, whether you're uh, a poem, whether you want to just lift your hands up, you want to clap, it's all praise to the most high thing. So with everything, like I said, with in everything or with everything in you, praise the most high. Praise the most high. Amen. Amen to that. So for our next for our next portion, we're gonna have this too long. I'm sorry, I couldn't Sukanya. hear you. I didn't hear what you said. Sukanya is coming up to sing a song. I'm waiting for her okay. to jump in. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I had to pay a bill before the deadline today. <clears throat> um, all right. 
bear with me, bear with me. Okay, now that that bill has been paid, <laughs> before the sun goes down. All right, so I have my little studio here set up. Um, and do a quick sound. Hallelujah. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> Can you see a little louder? I'm turning up a little bit, so try not to get some feedback. Let's see. Can I be heard? Shalom, shalom. Can I be heard? Okay. I pray that the feedback does not blow anyone's eardrums. Um, I would say turn down the volume um, until the music plays, just in case feedback. This song is called All Praise. I wrote this song in 2019. Um, and it was one of the first songs that I wrote after coming into Knowledge of Self. So I'm very honored and um, grateful to sing this song. Okay. Can everyone hear that? I'm gonna bring it down. Okay. Bring it down so that you can hear the speaker. That 
we we can hear a little bit. We can um it was a slight echo, but we heard some of it. Some of it's it. the way you turn it the next time you come around and sing. Um the next time oh then um this time I won't be uh having loud music. It would just be me. Um Okay. So hopefully this time it'll be better. <laughs> This song oh, is called Kane. This song is called Cause Israel to Stand. And I pray that everyone enjoys. And the most I would accept these words. Beautiful. 
A co a ha yeah. Yes. Shalom, everyone. All praise the most high. Oh, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, were you saying something, sis? I couldn't hear you. Rikia, were you saying yes, something? Yes. Um, do you have something for us? Yes, I do. Yes. So I was calling you up next. Okay. Pain. Happy to. Torah Torah It is the greatest honor to serve the Most High with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our might. And it's a pleasure to get up before his people. I'm happy to be on with all you ladies. So as some of you may know, I like to write. And I especially like to write about my life and testimonies and the things that I've gone through with the most high. So this is just another piece that I wrote for you all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says, my beloved Elohim, you are far beyond the highest note I could ever hope to sing. So with the lifting up of my voice, I blew you a kiss. My sisters, today is a great day to glorify our King, our King, our King. If it should be okay, I'd like to welcome you into my heart, here where I have my most personal talks with the Most High, our Elohim. You may notice as you look around sweet memories of he and I. I've plastered and framed them with his touch. It's the most beautiful art he and I built this place together. And here, I am dressed with the most beautiful of dresses. Here, the Most High carefully placed beautiful ornaments in my body and put bracelets upon my hands and a chain on my neck. And he put a ring in my nose and earrings in my ears and a beautiful crown upon my head. Thus, he decked me with gold and silver and my raiment made of fine linen and silk embroidered with work. You may notice slight humming in the background with quiet sounds of the piano and stringed instruments to couple it. I hope that it doesn't bother you. It's the melody he's given me to sing to him. There's a darker room to your left, but we won't, go, we won't be going in there. You see, this is where I like to spend the majority of my time, blowing him kisses and reminiscing on the times we shared. It's been a journey since the days where I did not know you, Abba. Blowing in kisses and reminiscing on the times we shared. It's been a journey since the days where I did not know you, Abba. Blowing and reminiscing on the There's a slight echo. I'm going to pause because there's a slight echo. Maybe someone's not muted. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, okay. He sorts the finest rugs for me and he keeps the temperature at the perfect degree depending on my body heat that day. I hope it isn't too warm for you. I'm sure you've noticed by now the decorative arched window to your right. The stones and bordering it represents the 12 tribes of Israel and the view is it not a sight to see. The rolling clouds look like mountains and the sun, it faces me. Yea, my heart resides in the sky, and this room faces the east. You see, my king takes great care of this space, even more so than I, and he is very particular on whom I should allow in. But he's been expecting you, and now that I've given you somewhat of a tour, may I offer you some tea? Please have a seat. As you ladies know, I am very much single, yet I find myself quite sure that I am very much so in love. When love songs play, I find myself thinking of him. When I arise in the morning, I roll over only to meet his perfect glow. His concerns become my woes, 
and what matters to him has become my everyday focus. When he approves, I swoon, and I love it when he speaks to me. I trust him, and he protects me. He leads me, and I hope to offer him complete obedience. Repeat, my king, you are on repeat. He has taken me to see the most glorious views. I hope to spend the rest of my life with him. The most high host, holy one of Yisrael, creator of my soul, Elohim of my heart. How I love you so. I used to be in a rush to find marriage. And I pray that someday our king will find me worthy of such blessings. But until then, I am grateful to spend this one-on-one -on -one alone time with him. You see, when I laugh, he hears it. And before I cry, he is there to wipe my tears. He holds true to his promise in Isaiah 65 verse four, which says that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. And so too will he do for you, sis. So enjoy your alone time with him. If I should be married someday, after pushing out the seed of my womb and carrying a suckling child on my breast, won't my heart yearn for these moments? I love to love, and I love to love my king. Yet I pray to my king to teach me further how to love, O oh, most high of my soul, that no matter what stage of life I'm in, my love for him will undoubtedly always remain first. It was my wish to invite you here today because I hope to show you that it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes. At times we forego the opportunity to open up, to discuss what's in our heart for fear of embarrassment or feeling ashamed. However, in doing so, we rob the Most High of his glory and fame. As for me, I hope to take every opportunity that approaches me to glorify his holy name even to seek for opportunities where he is well above deserving. Hallelujah. 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 I felt that one. I felt that one. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. My Havaret, how are you? I'm fine. Praise the most high Yah. Praise Yah. I'm doing well. King. I will be calling you up next to give honor and praise to the most high Yah. Okay. Excellent. I'm there for it. Now? <laughs> Dang. Is it me now? Is it me now? Okay. Yes, ma'am. We give all glory and all praise to the Elohim, the eternal power over all things the perfect creator of heaven, earth, and all life and all that sustains life. We call on you, Kodosh Hashem, Yahweh Eloheinu, and humble ourselves. We ask forgiveness of our regretful sins and transgressions. We reflect tonight on your miraculous ways, great works in our lives, and the power you share on us and do on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Please almighty, be willing to hear us at this time. Please accept us, our prayers, our testimonies, mm -hmm. that our efforts may show you love according to your covenant and be, ple be pleasing to you. We ask you for you to renew our minds of, with wisdom, understanding, acceptance, and peace of mind that will guide us to be one with you, Holy One, 
and with each other for happiness and blessings, the blessings of Yaakov. I give loving thanks and appreciation to you, Almighty Father, for my life, the life of the whole house of Israel, and for the world, because all things are because of you, and you sustain and hold on to all of us. I would like to thank and give appreciation to the spiritual leader and teachers of Shema, I mean, <clears throat> Sean Ray Hebrew mm -hmm. and um, Roche Moray um, Yiftop Ben Don and Gaberit Yakia Ishet Moray Ben Don and Moray Yashaya and all the house of Israel, brothers and sisters here. May the Most High be pleased and give you favor and bless all your lives abundantly. Let the whole house lift up their voice and say hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let the whole house say amen. 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 All right. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> yes. Now, are you frozen? Somebody is frozen. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, she she's was. Got this mouse. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having issues. Now, should I give a testimony, or is is a prayer? Is that? I don't know. Yes, I'm having <laughs> issue with my mouth getting you back screen. Okay. I'm just having issues with my mouse. Well, this is my first time here <laughs> for, 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 for the sister talk. I've been watching online and I've been really enjoying everyone and all of the encouragement and the, the wonderful blessings of information and the things that we can take with us every week. It's been mm -hmm. really good for me. I'm enjoying it. Great. Um, yeah. Praise the most high for that. And I thank all you sisters that come on um, to do this program. I, I like being in the background, but I'm good. <laughs> um, anyway, um, a testimony. I have so many where to start. But I want to thank the Most High Yah for continually putting forth his word, even though we may not expect certain things to come out of certain people's mouths and things like that. The most I always seems to give me what I need when I need it. I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's like that for each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in a, if I'm in a dilemma or something like that, um, it can come out of nowhere. Just, you know, just words of wisdom, words of encouragement, things to help guide me through my life. Um, the most high has been with me my entire life, my entire life whether I knew it was Yehoah Elohenu or not. I realized once I became part of the covenant that that's what was happening in my life. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I, I don't know, I told this story a couple of times. The first time I realized that the Most High was in my life, um, it came at a time when most people are celebrating um, foreign and um, unclean spirits, you know, the D25 situations and stuff like that. And I was renting an apartment to a girl and um, she got mad at me because I kept trying to keep her safe in her home. She kept raising all the windows and open up all the door and be gone all day. And I was scared somebody was gonna roll into the house or something. <laughs> so she got mad at me and she says, you need God. And she took her Bible and she threw it at me and I grabbed the book. And now, you know, and then she said a couple of choice words. I said, okay, no problem. You know, whatever you want to do. Cause I'm not one to argue with people. I don't have to argue. So 
I sat down one day and I opened up the book. And at the time I was in distress. I was in great distress. I had been crying for weeks and weeks. I was angry at everybody in my family. I was so upset because I did not get a card on that day. And I had went and sent out all these gifts all over the country and everything. And every year we, we, we did this thing back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then nobody said a peep. I didn't get a thank you. I didn't get a phone call or nothing. And I could not figure it out because as far as I was concerned, we wasn't raised like that. This was so special. Mm -hmm. And um, I cried. I cried. I was angry with everyone. And when she threw that Bible with me, the day I opened it up, I opened it up to Jeremiah 10. And that was the end of that was the end of that and the beginning of my walk with the Most High as an Israelite. Wow. And everything fell in place for me behind that. You know, um, I opened it up, I started reading, and right away it said, you know, it made me understand Israelites don't do that. People of God don't do that. We don't behave in that manner. And then it just brought me into the remembrance of other Israelites that I had met years ago that I had brief conversations with. And it was, was so amazing to me that a week after that, I had been, I was talking to my husband and I kind of fancy myself a uh, amateur photographer. So we were at an event. I had took all my little camera equipment and stuff and we we're out there and you know, they everybody's having a good time, all of the muckety mucks, big shots and everything. And I'm taking pictures. And I told my husband, he said, I said, you know what? I really want to find it like again. And so he said, yeah, that'd be good. You know, maybe we can get some information and understand, you know, what's going on with our, in our lives a little bit better. And so I said, honey, would you like to have um, something to um, to drink or something like that while we're here? He said, yes. Yeah. I said, well, I'm going to go out to the food trucks and get something. And guess who I walked into? The Israelites. <laughs> So I say, praise you most high, Yah, for everything that you have done in my life. All right. All right. My life and how you have brought me into the lives of other like-minded people who are striving, striving to be right with the covenant, to return to the covenant and to bring you glory and to appreciate you, Father Yah, because we appreciate you. You don't have to do anything for us, nothing. Amen. Everything you do is a complete mercy amen and a complete blessing in this world yeah. and i love you and i thank you i thank you for me i thank you for giving me decency giving me the spirit to want to care Thanks. about somebody other than myself and to want to be a help and not a hindrance to be a blessing and not a curse and i hope that you amen. work with my life make me a better person and that i can be of some use according to what you have set forth for us as Israelites to care for each other and in that way show you love. Glory, yeah. hallelujah. Thank you, y'all, for everything. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Told I, for your kind work. You know, it's amazing how sometimes we find the most high in different places in life that we don't expect you got thrown somebody threw the bible at you and you <laughs> opened up to jeremiah 10. yeah and that was a sign from the most high right there then and you've been in this way since then so how do y'all know that because the most high yeah. use anybody to get your attention anybody to get your attention so that's how you hold up for that yes next up i'm going to be calling my Sister Imuna to come forth to get honor and praise to the most high Yah. Hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Giving honor to the most high Yah, the Elohim of Abraham, Elohim of Isaac, Elohim of Yaakov, Israel. All praises and glory and honor to the most high. Sister, your testimony really touched me. I don't know your name. What is your name, sister? I have a red. I have a red. Beautiful. Um, your testimony touched me. And what it says to me is that Yah is still speaking. 
he's still speaking to his people. And even though we are supposed to be in exile and, and, and that we're, you know, we're in bondage, the Most High is still speaking to his people. It's just that his people aren't listening. Yah still speaks. We just don't listen. He all he's always speaking to us. And I thank the most high for the testimony. I also want to give praises to the most high for allowing me to turn 47 on today. It's a blessing. Yay! I thank the most high. It's a blessing because you know, whenever there's an opportunity for me to give the most high Yah some praises, I want to take it every time and I want to praise him every time because the most high is worthy of all praises hallelujah and i just thank the most high for allowing me to see this day and be able to bless his name on my birthday and for him to allow it to come in before the shabbat which is great because i you know so i just thank the most high for that and i'm going to render a song to you that i wrote um and i don't have any background um, music to it but it's a song for my heart and the most high is just he's worthy of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gave me peace, gave me light, and this is the reason why I say thank you, Yah. Shelter me through the storm. Can be safe from all my that is why I pray. Praise you, Yah. Gave me peace, gave me life, and this is the reason why I say thank you, Yah. Shelter me through the storms. Kept me safe from all my that is why I pray. Praise your name. Oh, that's why I praise your name. That's why I praise your name. That's why I praise your name, Yah. That's why I praise your name. This is why I praise your name. That's why I praise your name, Yah. I sing praises to your name, Yah. I sing praises to your name. I sing praises to your name, yeah. Cause you're worthy of all praise. I give glory to your name, yeah. I sing glory to your name. Sing glory to your name, yeah. Cause you're worthy of all praise, and you're worthy of all praise. Cause you're worthy of all, all praise. Hallelujah. Up next, we have Shakira. Please come forth and give honor and praise to Most High Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. 
All glory and honor to the Most High, for He is good, and we are more than worthy to be praised. Um, I'd like to thank the Most High, um, just by being so wonderful and kind and showing me so many things in my life. Um, it's kind of crazy because my aunt had asked me to, my aunt Yakia asked me to speak or say something. I did not know what I was going to say until instantly something hit my mind. And I'm just going to talk to you guys about my journey. So it's a testimony. Um, I am a 32-year-old yeah. 32 mother. Um, I love and serve the most high. Um, I'm just going to walk you through my journey. And it's crazy because I talk to a lot of women my age, women younger than me, and women older than me, and who have went through the same exact experience as I did, but was either embarrassed to talk about it, um, didn't really want to talk about it, or they spoke about it amongst other women who went through the same situation. But I feel like what I'm about to talk, talk to you guys about, maybe it can be a testimony, a testimony for somebody else, someone else had went through it, or it can be a warning, or it can just be an encouragement. So... I'm going to call this my journey and how the Most High had walked me through it from beginning until, well, God, I'll say the beginning, um, my present, and where I want to be in my future. So, <clears throat> how do I start it? Okay, so, I'll start with my family. My family, I love my family. They're very protective of me. And since I was younger, my mother had always spoke to me about boys and, you know, be careful with this, be careful with that. So, I had a very loving upbringing, a very great childhood, but one thing they were strict about was don't talk to boys. You're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. And me being the first granddaughter, um, I had a big responsibility. I had a lot of eyes on me, and um, especially my younger cousins. So I had to walk a certain way, um, be a certain way, and most, most importantly, be righteous. So, um, but in the day society, a lot of times, people find it hard, mainly women sometimes find it hard to speak about personal things that's happening in their lives, rather to their family, and they, you know, reach out to friends. And sometimes your friend's advice is not always the good advice. Uh, and we forget to ask the Most High for direction. But during this time, I was much younger. I wasn't as close to the Most High as I believe I am today. So anyway, um, long story short, I was in high school, you know, took a liking to a guy, and I took a liking to a guy and was talking to him for a while, but I was afraid to tell my family because the main thing was don't talk to boys, don't talk to boys. And, you know, try to be in secret about it until one day um, I was with child. So I'm looking like, oh, wow. So all this hiding secret secrecy I'm doing now, I got to uh, say something because I fear the most high more than I fear anything else. And I know for a fact I'm going to definitely – you know, keep my child, and then I got to explain to my family and everything. So, I want to tell my family, of course, they was hurt, and now all this hot and I'm doing, now I have to take care of a child um, and embrace him in his way of life, definitely. Um, now, I'm going forward some more, because this could be a very long story, but it's definitely my testimony. So, now I'm dealing with, you know, I have a child, I want him to be raised in this way of life, and he will be in this way of life, be the most high's will. And now all the things I try to hide in the dark has been brought to the light. And now I'm seeing, you know, his father's true colors. True colors is, oh, I want him to be raised in my religion. I want to do this. I want to do that. I'm like, no, no, no. You know, I'm about the creator. And sometimes the adversary have a way of poking at you. And it's like, oh, see, you try to hide in the dark with this person. You thought it was okay. And now you have a child. And now, you know. Now I'm going to try to take your child away from, you know, serving the creator. And it's been an ongoing fight from since my son was a baby up until now. And what I have learned that if you don't put the creator first in your life and ask him for direction, the thing that you hide in secrecy, he will bring to the light. And he would say, see, you tried to do this and now you got to go through. So right now the most high has been there for me been there for michael and i have learned to not try to run to those who don't want to serve him i'm learning now this is my friend i'm learning now to seek the most high for direction and wait and basically just reach out to him and ask the most high for direction the most high has been with me michael loves the creator and i tell you to this day his first words was hallelujah 
and he loves praising the creator. I teach him about the prayers and everything to this day. And to the point, it was an ongoing battle. And the most High has been fighting for me and allowed me to win. So I say, told I, yeah. And I would say to you know, anyone who's listening on the line, any young woman who's out there, it, I'm telling you right now, it's best to wait and ask the most High for direction and try to seek. Not try. Ask, ask the most how to send you someone that's gonna love you, love you, love him. Ask, ask him. Ask the most how to send you someone that's gonna love him more than they love you, love Tor more than they love you. And that's what I'm going through right now. No, I'm not down. I'm actually happy. I'm going through this so I can be a walking testimony for all those who are listening, a walking testimony Amen. for my my cousins, a walking testimony for whoever. Because my my testimony, yeah, my Hallelujah. testimony might have been my son Michael, but sometimes. It might be a child for me, but for someone else, it can be a man. For someone else, it could be a woman. For someone else, it can be something that you put over top of the Most High. And the Most High will put yeah. in your face, and he will show you. He will show you that I am the one, and I come first before anything else. So I have Speak learned that lesson, yes. and I thank the Most High every day because it could have went left. But the Most yeah. High still has the victory because my son, his son, the most which the most I gave to me is saying Amen. hallelujah and praising his name. And when he goes to his father's house, he's always talking about the Sabbath. He's always talking about I'm learning Hebrew, I'm learning this, I'm learning that. And he's coming most high allow him to go to his father's house and back home safely and in his way of life. So, ladies, oh whoever's on this line, I'm telling you, please put the most high first and always reach out to the most high. And now my present where I want to be in my future, I want to be. I want, I'm asking the Most High to send me someone, like I said just now, someone that loves him more than they love me, someone that loves Tor more than they love me, a righteous good man, hey. protective provider. And I know I'm, now I'm, at first I'm thinking like, okay, maybe I should go someone that's in this way of life. Yeah, you can do that, but guess what? And I'm just going to keep it 100 with you guys. Like I try to speak the truth in my heart. Just because they're in this way of life does not mean that's that person for you either. Because you, I've known personally a lot of different men in this way of life who act just like the men who's in, who's in the street, who is cheating, all types of stuff, cursing, being pretty much being no different from the men on the street. So the I, my, my prayer is to send me someone in this way of life who wants to serve the Most High righteously, faithfully, and as a okay. good man. So, you know, I'm asking the Most High for direction. Amen. I am happy. And I hope that this can uplift someone else. I hope this can be a warning. I'm telling you, wait and ask the most high for a direction. Don't do nothing in dark. Speak to the creator about it. And if you feel comfortable, speak to somebody who has walked down this road before. And that's pretty much it. And I give all glory and honor to the most high for he is good. And I thank you for listening to me. I hope this lifts somebody up. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's true. Hallelujah. Sarah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Who can be an inspiration? Hallelujah. All praises to God. That is beautiful. Father, you're looking for. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, Auntie. I'm sorry, Auntie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Auntie. I'm sorry, Auntie. Can you hear me? Go ahead. I'm so sorry to cut y'all off. Yeah. I got so into speaking about the goodness of the Creator. I just wanted to give um two of my scriptures to basically back up my story about you know what the Most High expect of us. Can, you, can I read that real quick? I'll two quick scriptures. Hey. Okay. Hey. One second. Okay, so I have waiting on the most high. Yes, I important. have. Yes, I have Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy uh, seven, chapter seven, three and four. I'm sorry. All right, get around, maybe. Chapter 7. Chapter 7, verse 3 and 4. So, Deuteronomy, chapter 7, 3 and 4 says, You shall not intermarry with them. You shall not give your daughters to his sons, and you shall not take his daughters for your, for your son. 
for he will cause your child to turn away from he will cause your child to turn away after me and they will worship the gods of others the creator wrath will burn against you and he will destroy you quickly so the, the creator's already warned us i heard when i was younger before but he's warned us plenty of times they would try their best to turn them away from you so the most high warned me there and now as i as i'm going through this it's like spark on me like wow he saw me right there and my last one is going to be leviticus 20 and 26. leviticus 20 and yeah 26. okay and it says you shall be holy for i am holy i have separated you from the people to be mine so the creator wants us to be different he wants to consecrate ourselves and sanctify ourselves we cannot be like everybody else we can't chase at the things and the people who don't want to serve the creator he's chosen us and we have to carry your treasure so keep that in mind don't give your sons to the authority don't give your daughters to the sons consecrate yourself sanctify yourself and be holy for the most high has something for us we are different we must stand out to be different we must be a light to all other nations so they can look upon us and want to know who our creator is hallelujah 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 so what i call to be for that Next up, we have a quote, Zimaretya, for thinking honor or praise to the Most High Yah. Uh, um, yeah. um, I wanted to actually start with a scripture. I wanted to start with my scripture, um, thinking about praising the Most High. And I was thinking about Psalms 150. He is glory. He is the glory of all his saints. Praise him, his mighty acts. Praise him according to the, his abundant greatness. Hallelujah. Yeah. And Hallelujah. thinking about what I was, uh, I, you know, everything should praise the most high. Anything, anything that you have within you, um, no matter what. The, um, I was thinking of song and it came, it came to me and I said, you know, it's a, actually an appropriate song about praising the most high. If I was a drummer, I would use my cymbals. If I were a writer, I would use a pencil. I would use my voice. If I were a singer, Oh, 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 no matter who what we are, we must praise. If I were a doctor, I would use my research, a prolific dissertation. Oh, if I were a speaker. I would use hands if I were a potter. Ooh, no matter who what we are, we must praise. If I were an eagle, I would use my wings. Since I'm a believer, I'll use everything. Make a joyful noise unto me. Oh, no matter who what we are, we must praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got the nerve to be frozen. Oh, goodness. that was beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful. All oh, praise. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. That was wonderful. Wonderful. I didn't want to end. The most I've read so much and so much. Mm, mm, mm. All the talent we got in Israel, man. All the pain. All the grace. It was beautiful. I wish I can sing. I wish I would bless with that gift to sing. Hallelujah for that. Um, I'll be coming up next. I have a word of encouragement slash inspiration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My word of inspiration. The title is Making Room for Your Blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do we make room for our blessings? By recognizing and admitting to yourself what we don't need. Then ask yourself, why don't I need it? And what is preventing me from letting go and letting God do his work? We have to do a spiritual, emotional, and mental inventory. And that starts by decluttering your life and making room for God. Don't be afraid to make a list. And don't hesitate when you have to draw the line. We hold on to things that we feel is valuable to us. And the reality is taking up too much room. That goes for people, places, items, spirits, attitudes, and emotional baggage. We make up excuses for that moment because we don't want to see. We make up excuses for why we need to hold on because we feel comfortable living in that moment. But there is more for us to see. It's more for us to gain from our creator. Mm -hmm. It's the most high trying to bless you, but you're in your own way. We mm -hmm. believe that everything we acquire in life is God sent for a good reason. And we forget that Yah sent things to us also for a test. Mm -hmm. We are afraid of stepping out of the moment. And how often do we see the signs and ignore them? In doing that, do we take a step back from our blessings instead of moving forward? How often do we say, am I going to trust in Yah and step out on full faith and let him take over? How many times do we say, there is no way the Most High has something better for me? We have to clear the, cup, the clutter, organize ourselves, and make room for our blessings. Mm -hmm. Israel had to get rid of the Canaanites to properly reside in their land, a blessing from the Most High. Job had to lose his family, but Yah gave him better. Ruth left her home and told Naomi, wherever you go, I will go, and your God will be my God. And she was blessed with Boaz. Mm -hmm. Jehovah wants to bless you. Let him, and don't blind your eyes to it. Create a new space in your life so y'all can use it with overflowing blessing, love, happiness, and a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Be faithful and acknowledge that what you had to let go, your blessings will be coming. When you get rid of stumbling blocks, Yah will replace them with building blocks of righteousness and spiritual enhancement. Become a testimony to someone. Show them what stepping out in faith look like so they can be inspired and have hope in God so they can begin making room for their blessings. How did I make room for my blessing? The first attempt, I prayed to the Most High and I told him that I need him and I need him to make a way for me. My second attempt, I prayed to the Most High again. I told him I need him. But this time I said, I'm a trust in you. And that's what I did. And within that, he blessed me days later. I can't ask for the Most High to help me if I don't do my part. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for Yah is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 and 9. Yah will bless you when you go in and bless you when you go out. Deuteronomy 28, verse 6. For I know the plans for you to give you hope and prosperity. Jeremiah 29, 11. The joy of Yah is my strength. Nehemiah 8, verse 10. These are scriptures of inspiration for me that I have in my home. A reminder to keep my spirits high and to stay motivated in doing God's work so I can continue to make room for my blessings. 
So with that, I inspire everybody to make that list. Check the things off that's hindering you. Check the things off yeah. that is stopping your spiritual growth. Yeah. Because the creator wants to bless you, but you're holding on to things that don't matter. Mm -hmm. And once you release that, there's a certain feeling you're going to have. I know because I'm a testimony. I'm a walking testimony to that. Um, I've been praying mm -hmm. to the Most High something recently. And he had it's a prayer that I thought wasn't possible. Um, I've been going through things physically and in the most high that he got. Me. He showed me that if I stop trusting you and let you do your will, he'll do it. And I had to do that. I was afraid to let something go. But I said, I, I can't receive my blessing if I don't get rid of something that I do. Hallelujah. 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 Most high speaking today. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he Praise is speaking the Lord today. God. Hallelujah. There's something for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Petition and how we put out fleeces towards the most high. And I was earlier, and we was talking about the fleece. And I just want to read Judges 6 real fast. How our forefathers have done the same thing. He put a fleece out towards the most high and he answered them. So I'm going to be reading Judges 6, verse 36. And Gideon said unto Jehovah, If thou be, if thou wilt save by my hand, and thou hast spoken, behold, I will put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there be a dew on the fleece only, and it be dried up upon the ground, then shall I know that thou wilt save Israel by my hand, as thou hast spoken. And it was so. For he rose up early on the morrow, and pressed the fleece together, and wrung dew out of the fleece, a bowlful of water. And Gideon said unto Jehovah, Let not thy anger be kindled against me, and I will speak but this once. Let me make trial, I pray thee, but this once with the fleece. Let it now be dry only upon the fleece, and upon all the ground that there be dew. And Jehovah, and Jehovah did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. And I read that because I found my doing a Gideon fleece and for surety I want to make sure that what I'm understanding is not my own understanding and when the most high give me a need to know that I can move forward with the plans that he has for and your life when you think you have it in order but he has different steps that you need to take to get ready to go, but you don't see it at that time. So I thank the creator for even giving me the mindset not to be afraid to pit out that Gideon fleece because I want to answer it. That's concerning my health, um, my marriage, my family, anything. I'm always asking the most high to give me a sign. And I just thank him because he never stopped that with us. And I was talking to my daughters yesterday and had opened her eyes to a sign that she inquired. And I was elated because she said, the most high showed me my sign and, and he gave it to me and I was in awe. And that made me happy because she acknowledged their creator. She that he was doing it and he's losing his and I'm supposed to be able to tell her testimony, but she's allowing me to do it. So I'm gonna tell her testimony for her. She was inquiring about a certain situation and she asked the most high to allow somebody to give her a So 
text message that morning, and the text message said, with the on the message. But she, she didn't take, she didn't really look at it like that. She wanted somebody to actually give her flowers. So she entreated the most high again. And she wanted this specific um, request. So she said somebody sent her another text message and the person had a tattoo on his arm of a rose and she still didn't accept that answer. So the third attempt, her grandmother to her house with a bouquet of flowers and she gave the bouquet of flowers to her father and her father gave her the bouquet of flowers. And she said, Ima, the most high answered my prayers. And she didn't know it was going to come that way, but that fleece that she put out like Gideon did showed us that she had that connection with the Most High and she heard that. And he listened and that with her heart, she acknowledged that she can go before the Creator with her partition and be afraid. You know, and we sometimes we have our doubts when the Most High gives us our first sign. When he give us the second sign and the third sign, it's like he's saying, "Here you go. I'm gonna make it a sure." For you. This thing, the Creator, that He didn't take that from us, the things that He was with our forefathers, that we still have that, that we still have the mindset and the heart to petition the Creator like our forefathers done, and give honor and praise to Him when we mm -hmm. see these signs. Hallelujah. 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 Sis, can I add on to that? I would like to really add on to that, sister. Yes, ma'am. So I'm actually really, really happy that you brought out that scripture because, you know, um, I was actually taught the same thing by my Dota. She showed me the Gideon, the story with Gideon. And at the time, you know, I was in the process of making decisions but I felt like the Most High didn't want me to make a certain decision, but I didn't understand why. So he allowed me to approach him. And, you know, I was able to use certain scenarios and I asked him for a sign and he gave me a sign. And I'm not going to lie, the first few times it happened, it really scared me. It scared me a lot. Like, because I, I was asking the most high for several things back to back to back. And he was just answering me back to back to back. And it was like, I feel like when you really start to seek the most high actively and you're asking him for directions and point me in the direction that I should go, your relationship with him goes to another level. Because now it's like, you're not just praying to him and hoping that he hears he's telling you that he heard you, you know, and then sometimes like I know you and Maury have mentioned, you know, you, you can ask him for a sign or ask him for his approval on something and he will not give it to you, you know, and then you're just like, it's Thanks. like you shaking the clock and you're like, is this thing broken? Do you hear me? <laughs> you know, but <laughs> like it happens, it happens to me. I know, but I'm just so grateful to the Most High that he is so merciful to us and he allows us to approach him because he doesn't have to answer us. He doesn't have to do anything for us at all. But, you know, I have been able to stay out of harm's way because not only did he allow me to approach him, but he also allowed me the spirit to humble myself and obey his word and his commandments. So I'm very, very grateful. I'm grateful that you had mentioned that, and I'm very happy for your daughter. So, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Well, I just wanted to say, and um, Gideon, it seemed, I'm sorry, Yaki. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to say, we're looking, we're always looking for confirmation from the Most High. And I think that is a wise thing. It's wise to look for confirmation. That's what Gideon did. He said, okay, make it make the fleece dry, make the do make the ground wet. Okay, make the ground um now make the ground dry and make the fleece wet. He was mm -hmm. looking for that confirmation because sometimes 
we want things to go our way. And sometimes most I will show us, but we ignore them, you know, because you're not always going to get the answer that you're asking for. Sometimes you're thinking that it's going to be what you want. And the most I let you know, that's not that's not what I have for you. So when you ask him, be prepared for the answer that he's going to give you and accept his answer. And if you're having a hard time accepting his answer, ask him to give you the strength to accept his answer and the wisdom and the trust to accept this answer. We all are looking for confirmation. And it's wise to ask the most out for confirmation. You know, because we want to be guided by the eternal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. key. Ima, Ima, did you want to say something? <laughs> well, well, yeah. Um, I agree with everything that's been said. That's very key. Trust, trust in the most high, faith and obedience is key. And the most high is power. And if we believe that he is power and we believe that he did all of the things that he has already confirmed for us in the Torah, then while he tells us to pray, to be obedient and have faith and trust in him, which equals courage, then yes, he talks to us constantly. He answers our prayers constantly. Sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes the answer is not now. So yes. he gives us all of those things because he loves us and he, he wants us. See, we are the light to the nations and he's our light. Mm -hmm. So he wants us to have all of the wonderful things that we want in the right way and he's perfect so he knows what's the right way for us what's best for us mm -hmm. so keep that courage keep that faith keep the trust in the most high and obedience and all the things that we need and most of what we want we will get mm -hmm. hallelujah even in the Amen. darkest times hallelujah. Hallelujah. yeah even in the darkest mm -hmm. times Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask another poem coming forth from the Told up. Uh, Are you ready? Okay. Well, before before I do the poem, I I do want to um mm, echo. I remembered that my sister. I want to echo uh, behind what everyone is saying. Uh, I can relate to, okay. I can relate to uh, your experience, uh, given your given your everything and trusting in the Most High. Especially knowing that if you can get an answer, if I can get an answer, then you know that that that'll be it for me. You know, I I. I I can relate. Let me tell you this quick, okay. this quick story. I was, I was working, I retired from uh, New York City Transit. And uh, as everyone know, when you're near retirement at any company, they come after you tooth and nail. So I had years of them really, really coming after me. Uh, they came after me so much that I began to get sick. Mm. And I got sick to the point where I had to, I had to come home. I was out of work for about seven months each year. And each year I was out of work for those seven months. I prayed to the most high to be that rock for me because I was just walking out. I was, I had taken enough. Each time I did it, each time I, I put my faith in the most high and walked out, I wind up writing a book. When I went back, when I, when I was on my way back to work, no, before I, before I went back to work. Okay. Uh, like I said, I wrote a book. I had also written a I had also written a plan for my own business. 
and I was going to relocate to another state. On my way back to work, when I was finally going back to work, I was about a half an hour away. I was driving and I started crying profuse. I was crying so hard. It hurt me so hard that I had to go back to that job because I felt like I was in a huge wicked plantation, you know, that, 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 that I was in, you know, that system, a way of life. And, uh, and, and I really couldn't take it. And I said, I'm going back. It's going to be the same thing. I already prayed, you know, and I prayed to the most high to make a way. And he showed me, I wrote it down. And I did not take the most high's advice. So I didn't do what you did. I'm so sorry I didn't. And I'm saying this so that no one will do what I did because I went on my own. After the crying and everything, <clears throat> I still went. because, And I sat downstairs from the job asking myself, are you sure you're doing the right thing? Are you sure? To, and I wind up being late because I was trying to make up my mind. And when I went in, the same thing started all over again. And I still did not put all my trust in the Most High because I was supposed to walk away. If I had walked away, there was a, there was a, 10 to 13 year difference in time. But if I had walked away, I would not be experiencing this physical illness that I am today caused by working underground in that place. Mm. So I just want to share that with you. If you got that and you know you got that, you keep that and you walk with the most yeah. high, like, like, uh, sister uh, uh, Yakia did. You walk with the most high knowing this is a done deal. I got it. And and, and don't doubt the most high because when I doubted when I doubted the most myself, I doubted the most high. You know that is so beautiful for you to Thank say you. that sister Rahama because it teaches us something because it's not all peaches and cream and it's not all flowers and roses. We do make mistakes and to for you to give that testimony is really the big blessing because it's teaching us not to second guess what we have with the most high we don't have to worry he's there and in in those consequences it's a good lesson for those of us who might not understand you know might not understand and we've all been through situations where we've doubted the most high and yeah. we've made, and, and we've the we've We've seen the cost of that, you yes. know. <laughs> My husband had, I'm going to give you a story. My husband had been telling me a couple of weeks um, here, uh, back before all of this pandemic and stuff, um, that he kept getting having his dream about the lottery. And that he had went and bought a scratch off. Now, everybody might not agree with gambling or what have you like that, but we didn't find a problem with it. So we... He, he said he, he liked the scratch offs. He ought to pay a dollar, five dollars, something. So he kept saying he had this dream that he was going to win big money with the scratch off, big money. And, and it was a yellow ticket. And he has, he's, he's been telling me that for a, a couple of months at this time. And at the same time, we have been praying to the most high for him to get a better position um, in his job so he wouldn't be under so much pressure. Okay. And it would be a lot better for him as far as being able to take extra time off of work and stuff like that, to be able to take, to go on, you know, holy days and stuff, not just the Shabbat, but other times as well. Cause he's in a high power job in law enforcement. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, he had a, a supervisor who told him that he could, take a job in another department that was not associated with what he was doing right then and there, but it would be a, a pay cut. And, um, you know, he could have any days that he want, but he would have to take a pretty good pay cut. Mm. Okay? 
Now we're not thinking and we're, we're, we're not focusing on the most high. He said, he said, no, I don't know if I can take a pay cut right now because of everything that's going on in our house and our lives. We need this extra money. But what would a pay cut do? Now, we're not trusting the most out on this particular situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My husband goes out after, he, after me and him talk together and he this decision, you know, we're not going to take the pay cut. You know, we're going to wait and see if something else better comes along, right? He goes out the next day, he buys a lottery ticket. The lottery ticket has five, five, um, um, what you call the bonuses where you get the million dollars. It had five of them and all of them was $4. Wow. 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 All of them was $4. So it was a lesson to be taught there. I mean, other things came along. We've never had to want for anything too tough. Praise the most high, y'all. Yeah, but cool. we could have been millionaires five or six times over if he would have went on and did what he was supposed to do. But now, you know, we got other opportunities, but you have to learn. You have to learn. We, like the sister just said in the, in the, in the Torah, in the scriptures, we are not like other people. Quit hanging on and holding on and trying to live in a dual situation. We cannot do it. Mm. The most high has something for us ain't nobody seen yet. Mm. Nobody seen before. It's gonna blow everybody's mind. Yeah, the power is there, but the faith and the obedience have to come first. But Toda Yah, thank you, my sister Rahama, for that. And the other yeah, sister yeah. Stuff. man, oh man. <laughs> thank you thank you i love this bouncer you know i love this bouncer the going back and forth thing you know, I, I just love that the more the merrier I've, I've always been like that but check this okay mm -hmm. the sister gave me the opportunity to do this poem now i'm gonna tell you right now i'm not gonna apologize about this poem uh oh <laughs> I'm not apologizing. The poem, one will think that the poem is sensuous. It's a sensuous poem and being done, done on, you know, operate and done on the uh, evening of Shabbat. But it's not because, you know, the, the song of Psalms, the song of Psalms, you know, chapter one, verse 14 and chapter seven, verse four, you know, like it's, you can't get any more sensuous than that. So if uh, the honorable, uh, if the honorable king can, can do this poem, can do a sensual, a sensual poem and it still be in righteousness, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm not apologizing, but Every sister of Israel will be able to relate to it. So here we go. It's called, it's named by the Lord's will. Most high. Help me to love you more than this man. Help me to focus on your desire and your divine plan. Loving your laws are more rewarding than the love I have for this man. I love him too much, which makes me feel the possibility of your reprimand. Omnipotent, omniscient God, only you can guide me in the right direction. But longing for man is the curse you put upon woman for our sins against you. Woman's first major discretion, oh almighty, how I hurt for him all day long. I long to be loved by him, held by him, and led by him because his belief in you and his love for life is strong. Sometimes I feel as though I'm weak and obsessed. I lay in my bed longing for his closeness and his caress. I long to share his life, the good and bad, the unexpected 
unexpected, happiness and sad. I like to be the one unlike any other that he's ever had. The one that would love him emotionally, physically, mentally, and still remain his buddy, loyal and true. The one he trusts to make decisions when he hasn't a clue. The one who would assist him with whatever personal endeavor he needs to pursue. But most high, my problem is I'm afraid that I'll love him more than I love you because I think about him every spare moment instead of thinking about you, Yehoah. Please accept my sincere forgiveness as an atonement. He's not perfect, but he's good, loving, and right. He tries to carry out your will and help Israel in their plight. My heart bleeds because of the separation between us. We are communicating verbally while constantly fighting our passion of love and lust. I've noticed that over a period of time, I'm becoming stressed more than I'd care to admit. I'm beginning to question his intent because he said that his present life will become hell if or when we totally commit. His mixed messages are confusing, so I'm at my end's wit. If he really cares for me like he says, Father, please, please fix it. Oh, Yehoah, give me my heart's desire and let this man and myself, his family and my family become one. Please bless us with prosperity, health, love, sharing, joy, happiness, and fun. Bless us with your guidance, patience, laws, and endurance. You know what was, what is, and what will become. Whatever you decide, Yahuwah, may your will be done. This was in August on the 15th and year 2009. And I thank you very much. We feel pride. We feel pride. Yeah. I that really is so do. beautiful. And and if I may add, <laughs> the, I actually part of my letter, I wanted to talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. but I actually chose to leave it out because I really wanted to just focus on glorying, glorifying the most high, but you know, that is definitely something that I think about, and I'm sure that many other sisters think about, you know, how do we juggle our love for our spouse or our potential spouse? I'm not married yet, but it's still something that I think about because, like, like I had mentioned in my letter, I love the Most High so much, and I love spending my time with him, and it scares me, the thought of potentially, you know... <laughs> loving someone else so much that it could take away my time and attention from the most high. So mm -hmm. I appreciate you sharing that because <laughs> I'm sure that so many of us feel the same way. I'm glad I, I, I felt, you know, as a, you know, because as a sister, I felt, um, because we are, we are, whether we know it or not, we are connected spiritually anyway. We all have a spiritual connection. I mean, you could be uh, over in Israel somewhere. And, and if you and I have some type of relationship, I can feel your energy from there. If something is wrong, I can feel your energy. So we have a spiritual connection as a people and that's another reason. <laughs> and that's another reason why uh, I got some of us be so angry at each other and and know what the next person is thinking or doing or feeling, even though they're not saying it's because we have a spiritual connection and you can't fool spirit. Sometimes you just can't do it, you know. So we have to deal with it. And we have to deal with it. But uh, yes, I'm I, I'm I'm happy. To have done that and um there are there are many different many different expressive stories that all of us as sisters can relate to because we have that commonality you know we have that commonality and i'm just so um i'm just so happy that i can share Toda. 
May I help? May I say Hallelujah. one thing? Um, may uh, I uh, make a comment? Uh, for, uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. So, um, and what um, Sister Ahavia was saying, and um, you might write a beautiful poem. I like the, the words she was saying about, um, you know, not wanting to love or, or afraid of loving um, a man, a human, more than you love the Most High, you know. So that's why it's important to get someone that is, or to have a mate um, who loves the Most High, who is truly um, in love with the Most High also. So if you're both in love with the Most High, you both respect the Most High, you uh, revere the Most High, that's, you know, they wouldn't come into play because if if he's post high first, you're putting the most high first. That wouldn't happen. So, you know, we are human, and it has happened in a relationship. But if that that man or that woman, whoever, you know, with um, does not um, cherish the most high, love the most high, they're not for you anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and saying that, and, and saying that, you have to, you know, you both love the most high, so your love is connected. You both build on love for the most high. So that's, you know, that's the key, key, key point to relationship with a man or relationship is to put the most high first, everything. And to make that communicate that to your mate mm -hmm. or to the person you're courting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right now. All right. All right. I have a I have a scripture for that. If I, if you guys wouldn't mind me sharing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um it is Jeremiah. Um, 30, chapter 31 and verse, uh, verse 21. How long wilt thou turn away coyly, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahuwah has created a new thing in the earth, a woman's shell. Now, some say court, some say compass, which means guide, and some say, some say, say lead a man. But it all boils down to the same thing. The Most High has also given the daughters of Israel some leeway and abilities to help in their relationships with men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the most high should come first because to backslide means that you're turning away from the most high for other reasons and for other things. Mm -hmm. And that can also lead your relationship astray or it can cause you to have the wrong relationship or be in the wrong relationship. Mm -hmm. And the most High says that he has created a new thing. He has given a woman an opportunity to choose and to be in control herself of what her mate or what type of mate that she wants to be with. So we have a responsibility to assist our men and assist our husbands in being the best men that they can be for the most high, as well as being the best men that they can be in our lives. And the way we lead our lives and stand up for the Most High has a lot to do with how our husbands and our men also can be able to um, accomplish their goals within the, their walk with the Most High. All right. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Can I have a red? We actually have our last evening. 
Brett, y'all will be singing us our last song. Hallelujah. 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 Um, I thank the most high for being true, the, the crew, true, the true creator. And I thank the most high for the things that we realize in life that we don't understand. And, you know, we, we get upset, we get angry, we get um, frustrated. And Sometimes we feel like things are not fair, things are not, you know, going our way. And, you know, if, like you're trusting the most high and, you know, creator, you know, we'll show you. But know that the most high is sovereign. Uh, hallelujah. 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 For sure. For sure. My is We can do what. Ever you want to do, he can do whatever he wants to do where he wants to and how he wants to Because sovereign, Yahweh is Yahweh. You question. His wisdom. Who am I to question God's judgment? Who am I? To be offended by his ways, my words, he allows to be, he allows to realize that my eyes. My eyes, yeah, is sovereign. My eyes can do whatever he wants to do. He can do. Whatever he wants to do, when he wants to. Yeah, but he wants to do and how he wants to. Because he's sovereign, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 
goosebumps. Love it. Love Hallelujah. It. Gave me goosebumps. Hmm. All honor and praise goes to the most high. Thank everybody for joining our tour study this evening, giving praise and worship. That is something that is commanded for us to do. That's all we know how to do is give honor and praise to the most high. Yah. Mm -hmm. I thank him so much for giving us this opportunity. I'd like to thank my Ish Moray Yiftok for giving us this platform. And hopefully in the near future, we'll have another praise session. Hallelujah. Everybody needs some prayer, please. Hallelujah. 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 Why Elohim Elohim El Moshe? Aye, Asher, Aye. Why am I called to my leaf name Israel? Aye, Shalakim Yalekim. Why am I O Elohim El Moshe called to my Elbani Israel? Yahweh Elohe Abotekim. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov. Shalakim Yalekim. Zay Shimi. Le'alam Rizay Zik Rik Lador Dor. And Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And Yehovah said more all unto Moses, Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The power, the power of your forefathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. All honor and glory goes to the Most High Yah. Yah, we thank you, Yehovah, for another Shabbat day that you allow us to see. We thank you, Yah, for the blessings you put upon this earth, the Most High, for giving us life. Yah, we thank you, Yehovah, for our families. We thank you, Yah, for provisions. We thank you, Yah, for healing our bodies when we ask you to. Yah, we ask you to look upon the earth, the Most High, and judge us accordingly, the Most High. Protect us, the Most High. Yah, we ask you this day, Yehovah, allow us to sleep in peace so we can wake up in the morning and give honor and praise to your high and holy name, Yah. Y'all, we thank you for a conscience to serve you and only you. Let me call upon your name and your name alone. Hallelujah. That Hallelujah. Is there is no Hallelujah. other. Hallelujah. There is no other God that's in the heavens. There is no other God that can claim the fame. For you, the only power in the universe who has bragging rights. Y'all, we thank you all for not chastising us in your wrath. For giving us mercy, for goodness and mercy are new every morning. Yah, I thank you, Yehovah, for my family. Continue to God should protect me and my family. Yah, I thank you, Yah, for the sisters who are with me this evening. Bless them sevenfold, almost high. Bless their households, almost high. Give them the desires of their hearts, almost high. Yah, I thank you, Yehovah, for Shomrei Habri. Please continue to allow us to grow. Send people, almost high. They can glorify your high and holy name of this high. Yah ask you to bless my husband, increase his knowledge, his wisdom, and understanding, that he may be the shepherd that you call to lead the flock on this high, that he may stand before the congregations and be a good leader, a righteous leader, and an example of those who need to serve in truth. I thank you, Jehovah, for answering my prayers. I thank you, Jehovah, for teaching me how to trust in you. Teaching me how to step out in faith, 
and give everything to you. I thank you, Jehovah, for answering my prayers on most high and healing my body in the way that you did. I ask you to continue to walk with me and enlighten me on most high and give me a position in your course of glory. All honor, all glory goes to you for you alone on both sides. For no other deity shall come upon my name. No other deity shall come out my mouth on this time. No other deities get on the honor of you but you. Yeah, I thank you, Yahweh. 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 Rock a tie, y'all. Rock a tie, y'all. Rock a tie, y'all. Only you, Yahweh. Only you can provide for us. Only you can bless us on this time. Hallelujah. Light and a good on both sides. Teach us not to fear man on both sides. Teach us to fear you. Teach us to pitch you first on both sides. And Amen. everything else comes last on both sides. Yeah, as you say, Yahweh. Amen. Teach me, Yahweh, how to serve you better. Teach your people how to serve you better on both sides. Teach us not to be stiff neck and rebellious. Teach us to walk in the way on most high. Teach us to keep the Torah in front of us on most high and to live by the Torah. Not to talk it, but to live it and to walk it and apply it on most high. We are supposed to be the light to the nation. Teach us to act like it on most high. Okay. And I thank you for this Shabbat day. Hold on, I ask you to keep your angels upon this nation on most high. Teach us your word. To guard our tongue. Jehovah. Jehovah. Yes. Jehovah. Now to glorify your name, not only in the good times, in the bad times as well. Teach us Jehovah not to use your mercy. Jehovah teaches that when we bend our knees and we raise our hands. And we lay flat on the floor to petition. And you see in our heart, we ask you, Lord, to bless us. To bless us according to our righteousness. Almost high. Yeah, and to yeah. show us our faults so we can correct them. Amen. So we can make room for our blessings. Almost high. Yes, Teach yes, us to clear out the clutter. Yes. Teach yes. us not to hold on things that do not matter. That do not Teach matter. Yeah. All honor, all glory, all allegiance, all reference, all respect goes to you and you alone. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Ooh, powerful prayer. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, for everybody coming here this evening, please join us tomorrow. And we start our Shabbat service at 9 a.m. We are in a portion of Pinkas, Numbers 25, verse 10, to Numbers 30, verse 1. Our teachers, Moray Yiftak. And memorial shot. Verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. Okay. Pinkas. Chapter 25. Verse 10. 10 to, to 30. Verse 10 to 30. 30. Okay. Got it. Toda. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.